Hey there, Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at creating this ghostly effect. Alright, so there you go, let's get started. We have these two clips here and what you want to do basically when you shoot this is you want to set the camera on a tripod and you want to let the camera roll for about as long as the ghost is going to be in frame. So for me it was around 15 seconds, for you it may be different. I also then recorded another instance with the ghost coming into the frame. So let's actually click and drag to select these two clips, right click, drag them down to the timeline and the reason I'm doing this is because I only want the video across the tracks. Now if you want the audio you can also add the audio just by clicking add across tracks. So video only, cross tracks, and since this is in Vegas Pro 12 it's asking if I want to match the video settings to the media. I'm going to go ahead and click yes since all my footage is going to be the same. And it looks like the background footage actually made it on top so I'm going to just click and drag this track down below like that so my main footage is on top. There we have our strange looking prisoner ghost and we can go ahead and cut this out. So let's see. That's when he walks right in and I can click to highlight this area and I want him to kind of disappear. He can uh, disappear right around there. So to quickly trim this all I'm going to do is hit Control T and that'll trim both sides out and then I can move this in closer to the beginning here and add a nice little fade just like that let's preview that okay now like I said earlier it's very important that you keep it on a tripod my finger actually got very excited during this one and moved the camera slightly so if you do have a remote control that you can trigger the record function on your camera with I'd recommend using that but luckily for me it was just a very slight move so I can fix that. First thing I'm going to do is bring the opacity down by clicking up here toward the top of the video. Vegas actually added this little blue line right here to make it more apparent since a lot of people seem to be missing out on this function right here in previous versions. So I just brought it down to 50% there so I can see that the trees aren't quite lining up, these posts aren't lining up. So the only thing we want scaring people is the ghost in the video not the trees out of alignment. So we're just gonna go into the event pan crop for this clip. Click and just slightly move it with the arrow keys on over. Right around there looks good, nice and sharp. Now this can't be done in every situation so just keep that in mind. This one was a little bit easy since it was dark and we have this background footage kind of filling everything else in. By the way we can also trim this background footage right here just by clicking where you want to trim it and you can hit alt right bracket key to remove everything to the right of the cursor there. So since we've already brought down the opacity, we should be able to preview this with the ghostly effect happening right there. And he fades out and there we go. You can also adjust the opacity, bring it lower, depending on how transparent you want the ghost to be, how visible you want them to be, you can make it very transparent. Maybe even more. Look what I caught on the camera. Do you see that? Make him look closer. Then just boom, the exorcist pops up. You know? Just throwing things out there. Throwing throwing them out. And here's another example. You can see that he's swinging. And what I did was I shot some footage of him swinging and then took away the swings and just shot the background like that. Now what that does is it's going to add a little bit more light to the footage when we make this transparent. So if I just bring the opacity down, you can see I'm just making that one swing transparent since I masked it out. This top one, I masked it out with a positive mode, duplicated it, and then this bottom one I masked it out with a negative mode so that the swing next to him won't be transparent. Now it's a little bit more challenging to get the swing to be fully visible and the ghost transparent, but this will work for now. We can adjust that and preview that. And there's a ghost swinging. And that just reminds you of swings moving at night on their own. Yikes. Well there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Robert from robertsproductions.net and I'll see you next time.